Wildland Geek Nation. Hola. Hola. <laughs> Guten Tag. Good yeah, dog. What language can we throw out there? Buenos, buenos noches. Yes. Um, that's all I know. <laughs> that's about the <laughs> Uh, but anyway, oh, man. welcome to a, another nightcap. We had some technical difficulties, uh, which is why we're late. It's a technical foul, as Whitey would say. Remember that Christmas movie? Uh, which movie? With Adam Sandler. That's a technical foul. Oh, yeah. Is that uh, Waterboy? No, it's a Christmas story. It's an animated Christmas one. Story. Oh, the end. Yeah, I don't know that one very well. <clears throat> what are we drinking tonight, boss man? This is gonna. This is really exciting. You ready to see this? I've been, I am. I've been saving this for nightcap. I got uh, a really amazing Christmas gift from my wife. Let's see ready? it. It's my own. Oh no! What is this? What the heck is that? It's my own beer dispenser. Oh my god, that's awesome! <laughs> Isn't that sweet? I was like that's a big, that's a huge beer cup, man. <laughs> so what's I'm in gonna there? Pour, I'm going to pour myself here. I better pan down a little bit so you can, all can see. Oh, it's hard to see, but anyway, I'm going to pour myself a beer. What kind of beer is in there? Uh, it's an IPA from St. Paul, Minnesota, Surly Brewing Company. Dude, that's sick. So. Um, Pretty exciting. It holds about seven beers, and I thought that might be a little too much for nightcap, so I went with three. I was figuring it was full like an hour or two ago, and you just <laughs> been drinking, waiting. I had a bourbon to warm up. So, but anyway, um, Zeno, watch out for uh, watch uh, watch your mailbox next Christmas. <laughs> Pretty sweet. That's awesome. So. Uh, people are rolling in here. Oh, I better get the hotline ready. We should probably tell people who we are and what we're doing here, Mike. I'm just pulling the hotline up. All right. I'll tell them then. So we are the Land Geek Guys, and this is Nightcap with the Land Geek Guys. We're here to talk land investing. And uh, whether you found us yesterday or whether you found us a year ago or whether you found us years ago, we like to hang out with you. Yeah, we have some new people that I talked to recently. I'm sure you have as well that I, I've told about this show. And, um, you know, it's really what I tell them is the honest truth. This is about us engaging the community. We like to get people to participate. To We know, like you like to say, Scott, they're burning the midnight oil. They're doing deals. We come on here just to engage you, to excite you, to cause you to think about the business, to ask questions, anything, anything. Let's Let's talk land deals. Let's celebrate, as we say, the wins and the struggles. Let's celebrate them. Let's do it. Uh, we got we got a bunch of people watching right now. We have John. John Jeekies here. How's it going, buddy? What's up, John? Lee, Janet C., David G., and uh, Cruiser Dan. Dan and Dan and uh, – Dan, remind me your son's name. Is it Hunter Connor? Is that right, right, Mike? I think that's right. Uh, if, I, if I'm wrong, I apologize. I've talked to Dan a few times. But uh, but anyway, hope hope everyone's doing well. Uh, tell us what you're drinking tonight. And uh, John, well, John actually has a, a trivia question to start it off. Why is IPA called India Pale Ale? John, Ooh, that's a great question. I don't know. You tell us, John. Dan and Heidi, Dan and Heidi. <laughs> but Dan, you do it with your you do it with your. Oh no, I got the wrong Dan, dude. I was totally thinking the wrong Dan. I knew it was Heidi. You you know what? I know it's Heidi too. But there's another Dan who, and I just got I him know. mixed we up. Have, we have a number of people with similar names in the community. Sometimes it's, especially after a few bourbons or seven beers, it's... Uh, you know who I was talking about, Mike? He was at Las Vegas Boot Camp. Dan and his son... Nelson. 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 Thank you. Yeah, Dan Nelson, you out there? Come on, he, man. He was here last week. Uh, Myrna McNeil's here. She's drinking green tea. I love green tea, Myrna. That's my favorite uh, beverage throughout the day. Water, green tea, and whiskey. That's all I drink. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
John says it was made with higher alcohol and hops to preserve it so it could be shipped from Britain to India. Wow. There you go. See? This is an educational show in all angles. It, it really is. It really is. So, Mike, what are we talking about tonight? Wow. Um, <clears throat> well, I think John was asking us to talk a little bit about wholesale, wasn't he? He was, yep. Uh, besides that, you know, we're open up for discussions. Uh, we hopefully the, the uh, hotline is ready to roll. Is that blasting across the screen right now? It's blasting across the screen. Yes, it is. All right. So if you need something, reach out. I know Janet was uh, pre gaming with us. Wait a minute, that was two weeks ago. Janet, that comment? No, that was tonight. Yep, she's 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 there. Nine o'clock. Perfect. Nice. And, and I would say for those of you watching us in the rerun, which is, I mean, it's where we live. Probably the other 10,000 of you. You can still text the number and we will answer. Yeah, the number doesn't go away. The hotline lives 24-7. It's not just during nightcap. So if you're new to land investing, if you're wondering how this all works, uh, shoot us a text. What are some other beginner resources, Mike? Beginner resources for people. Well, if they're working with us in Toolkit or with Flight School, they can come to the Working Lunch. We have a every Wednesday, 2 to 3 Eastern. That's a great uh, get-together uh, where you can come and ask questions. You have the Mighty Networks community. You have the Facebook community. If you're in Flight School, you should be hitting us up on Voxer. And if you're not, hit us up on Voxer because you have that <laughs> opportunity and you should take advantage of that. Now, there's lots of ways to engage. You can listen to us on YouTube. There's tons of content with our uh, podcasts and uh, not only reruns of this show, but of the Roundtable and Mark's, Mark's uh, Art of Passive Income. Uh, you know, there's a ton of ways to get involved, for sure. For sure. For sure, for sure. Uh, ben Nagel's here drinking Captain Diet. Uh, nice. And Dan is drinking Cap Morgan and ginger ale. That sounds pretty good. And David G is here drinking... 15-year McCallum. Ooh. That right. sounds good. David, I'm, I'm drinking a little PD uh, odd bag tonight. Uh, this is the one I open up, and my wife promptly goes to the other side of the room <laughs> because it smells like a magic marker. I put it in front of my dog. You want a, want a little bite? And he's like, uh, and I know, goes right? Up, he looks away. He's like, <laughs> nope. Yeah, my dog isn't a fan of the bourbon smell either. It's kind of funny. <laughs> Uh, well, okay, so we could talk about wholesaling. Uh, we could talk. What about... else we could talk about? What they, that? A question that came up today was a great one. Is what would, what were some mistakes we made in the beginning? I thought that was a great question. It that came up during question. work and lunch. We could talk about that. Um, oh, we got the hotline blowing up. I love it. <laughs> you got a question on there? Yeah, Heidi and Dan Connor. They wanted to know. Good evening, all. Do you know if there's a way to release a federal tax lien other than waiting 10 years? Ooh, it's a little, yeah. Don't really have a good answer on that one. Um, I don't know if there's a way to short short change that lien. I don't think so, uh, but I wouldn't be the be-all, end-all, but my thoughts are I don't think so. So is that a, a deal, Mike, you'd stray away from? <sighs> Potentially, I mean, look, we're always looking for the low-lying fruit. We talk about that over and over again. What can happen, though, is when we send out mailers, people respond, we get excited, and deals come in, and sometimes those deals look really great, except for probate or except for a lien or except for whatever. And we have to put that all in perspective, and then we have to evaluate whether or not this truly is low-lying fruit. Are our efforts best served here, or can we continue to mail and bring in more deals and take that low-lying fruit? So. It comes down to just being consistent. And the more you mail, uh, the less these will bother you. Not that that helps you right now, um, Heidi and Dan. But the fact is there's, a, there's, there's hundreds of other deals that will have no complications, right? And so we just keep searching for those. <clears throat> Great answer. Great answer. Yeah. Tatooine! I like that shirt. Oh, it's my, my other Star Wars shirt. Welcome to Tatooine. See Luke's homestead right there? I feel like they're gonna have a whole, like a whole, uh, you know, a whole um, episode, not a series on Tatooine. Well, they already, they already have pretty much. Boba Fett was all on Tatooine. Okay, I gotta watch Boba. And Fett. Obi Wan is coming on the forty fifth anniversary of Star Wars, May twenty fifth. Would you recommend 
solo the movie. I never saw it. I just didn't think it looked that enticing. Uh, you got to watch it if you're a Star Wars fan. I mean, come on. It's, okay. All right. Good enough. Well said. Well parts, played. Parts of it were good. Parts of it were good. Uh, okay. The fact that that Harrison Ford wasn't playing Han Solo, it's difficult to get your head around. Am I the only one when Princess, I don't know if this is not a spoiler alert, but when Princess Leia, what episode was when she passed on? Am I the only one that cried? No. Yeah, because that was that's why they oh, accepted you, it as an okay to cry at the moment, right? You cried. That was pretty. That was pretty intense. It was very intense. Yes. The last. Well, I'll make it like this. <laughs> uh, Facebook user has a comment: drinking Athletic Brewing's IPA and a beer. Nice, and it's actually really good. I'm recovering from COVID and don't want any booze yet. That's understandable. Uh, Surly Furious is a great beginner resource, Scott. Yes, this is from the Surly Brewery, and I forget that they have tons of IPAs. I forget the name of this one. Nice. Um, this is from Five Blind Mice. I don't know if we've ever heard from Five Blind Mice before, Mike, but here's a I question. I don't think so either. If someone pays full price with a credit card, yeah. what happens when they call their credit card company and open a dispute? They yeah. get my land and my money? Question mark? I don't think it would really happen that way. We do talk about uh, not trying not to take payments through credit card. You know, for we talk about taking a down payment or a dock fee, and we like to use ACH or wire or a bank check or something like that for the full payment. That being said, I don't. I'm not a legal. I'm not a legal professional, but I've talked to my legal team, and I don't think that they. You know, I, I think that you have a contract in place and they signed it. I don't think it's going to be that simple, but that's just my opinion. Yeah. You know, Mark's talked about this before, too, on some podcasts. If you have a purchase agreement, a signed purchase agreement, and, and uh, you know, y- you received payment from them, it hit your bank account, you then deeded them the property, yeah. that's going to be really, really hard for them to dispute. Um, yeah. So it might be a logistical hassle for a little while, but you probably aren't going to lose out on that deal. However, we prefer the easier, like I don't, I've, I've done credit card for, for smaller cash deals, but you know, when we're looking at three, four five, $10,000 cash deals, we prefer that they wire the money to us. Yeah. Oh, Heidi and Dan say it's actually for a track down the road that they want to buy up themselves. So, yeah, you know, in that case, oh. um, worth looking into. It's, a you know, for your own personal use. Um, I would consult a legal professional on that one. I don't really have an answer on that. Yeah, for sure. Okay, but I would so definitely you're... investigate. If it's something you really want and love for yourself, absolutely. And what else is blowing up on the hotline? Uh, we have uh, uh, Cynthia Gangler. And she has two things. First of all, she wanted us to know that she's drinking lime, mineral water, vodka, and stevia. Mm. But she prefers, but she does prefer the cava de oro tequila. Wow. Cynthia, my, my wife is a big tequila fan. I don't know if she's had that one before. So thank you for that tip. Cava de oro. I'm going to have to check that one out. Nice. Buy it for her. She'll be very happy when I surprise her with that. So thank you. And she does have a question <clears throat> along with those comments. Uh, Mike and Scott, what's your strategy to identify the best areas to market? Is it merely go where other investors are? So when she says market and she says go where other investors are, I feel like she's meaning on the buy side. So maybe you could clarify it, but I I feel like you mean the best area to buy properties. I mean, we do market where the other investors market as well, the other platforms that they use. But how do you interpret that, Scott? And Cynthia, you can clarify. Uh, So... Yeah, I, I kind of interpret it like you do. Um, it's interesting, though, isn't it? When you're doing your county research, you're doing marketing research, right? Yeah. Like yeah. you're you're figuring out, I mean, if other land investors are there selling land in that area mm-hmm. and you happen to read 10 ads in the same area and, and the ad copy tells you that these – Things are available within the area. Lakes over here, mountains over here, mountain biking here, skiing here, off-grid living here. I mean, in essence, you're kind of doing a little bit of marketing research when you're doing your county research, in my opinion. Now, 
I agree. When you go market the properties, though, I love what Scott Todd talks about on his live YouTube show, Mike. He talks about uh, the buckets. And he's even incorporated that terminology now in the new land moto. Have you seen that? No, I didn't see the terminology with the buckets. Yeah, so so he's got different buckets. Now, the buckets represent different types of buyers. Well, like can, avatars. Yeah, the avatars. You can cater your marketing, cater your ads to those different types of buyers. Um, and, I mean, Mike, I think you can agree. Like, we don't target a particular area with our marketing. We target a particular person with our marketing. So we are targeting those avatars. We are targeting the investor with one ad. We are targeting uh, the off-grid homesteader with another ad. We are targeting the recreationalist with another ad. We are targeting the dreamer with another ad. People want to build a home someday. Daydream believer and And a a homecoming homecoming queen. queen. (laughs) Who sings that? (laughs) Um, The monkeys. Yeah, it is a monkey. What, yeah. What yeah? Oh the monk oh man, the monkeys, man. All right. Well, I'm gonna say nineteen sixty seven is my guess All on right. that one. Survey says day dream believer. There's a song. Night dude, are you kidding me? No. 1967. No way. How do you do that? I don't know. Oh my God, that's amazing. So um, Cynthia, by the way, says yes to buy, she was talking about. Uh, but still, what you're saying is true, though. We start with the win. We're, we're marketing right when we're buying. We're, we're learning the markets. But in terms of her question, let me look at her question again. Strategy to identify the best in capitals. Areas to market to buy property. Is it mainly go with the other invest? It is, but it's also there's there's some personal sort of mm-hmm. preference you put there based upon we talk about it, right? What's your budget? So we may be buying in areas where the uh, purchase price is three thousand dollars and it sells for twelve thousand on terms. You may have six thousand dollars available for in your capital account to buy property. So you might want to buy more than two. So maybe you target properties that you can pick up for $1,500, right? So you you look at the, the the sale price divided by four, and then it lets you get the range of where you should be depending on your capital constraints and what you're going to acquire. So there's more, there's a little bit more to it. But, yeah, you definitely want to go where the other investors are, and we want to find the opportunities. What do we like to say, Scott? You're an investigative reporter. Here's the story. You, ca- you called in the office of Daily Planet. All right, here's the here's the story. There's land being bought and sold out there. I need you to find out where, and I need you to get some now. And that's <laughs> what you got to do. Who's the guy, anyway, that's in charge? Of you? I like that gruff guy from the Daily Planet. What's his name? Oh, it's... Um, um, oh, it'll come to me. It'll come to me. Actually, after the show, I have a meme I saw about Star Wars that I need you to clarify for me, because I don't okay. get it, and I know you will. Okay, sounds don't good. Let me forget. Don't let me forget. Sounds good. Let's um, see what else we got online. Mike, I'd say one other thing about the, the whole finding an area thing. Um, you may over time uh, attract a certain clientele mm. with your uh, buyers list. Right? <clears throat> so as you yeah. gain hundreds, thousands of followers, yeah. and those people that buy from you or that are on your list uh, love to do certain things with land, then uh, that makes you want to maybe find more land like uh, what those people are attracted to. Mm. Yeah. Right. I agree. Yeah. You're working in both directions there. Working in both directions. You're, and you're cultivating your buyers list. You're finding land that may work for those customers you've been dealing with for a while. Yeah, I like that. That's true. Very good point. Thank you. Thank you. Very good point. That's why we start to well. focus on certain areas because it enables us to engage more effectively our buyers list. If you went to 10 different locations, you know, it's going to be hard to really engage the buyers because you're going to have properties that don't relate to them. So you start right. to focus on an area and things start to click. 
Click. Clicker. Didn't All right. Hotline's clicker. open. Bring it in. Bring it in. Bring it in. Hotline's <laughs> open. Uh, let's see here. I got... We got a question from Myrna. You ready? I'm ready. What happens when you're doing due diligence and the county tells you they only have access to the current deed, Mm. they do not have access to prior deeds, and you need to contact XYZ Title Company to get the prior deeds? Properties are under $5,000. I feel like that's, they may say that, but what they might my opinion, what they might mean is we're not going to provide that over the phone, over the email. But if you were to go on Craigslist and send someone in there and say, hey, I'm here to search some deed records, I believe they'd be able to do that. So I think there are still some workarounds, my, my personal opinion. I think if you're going to work in the area for a while, why not cultivate a contact, a local person that you could pay $25 to pull a deed? You know, someone goes down to the local office and you give them four deeds and they're going to be there for an hour or two and they make 100 bucks. Uh, four properties you're looking for or whatever, or even in one, and you know, uh, it's worth it. So I feel like there's other ways that I'm not saying this is a hundred percent true, but I do feel like that they're, they're more merely implying that they're not going to send, they're not going to go do the research themselves for you. They'll pull the latest, but they're not going to go dig into the records. But if you want to come in, have at it. That's my personal feeling. No, I think, uh, I think, think, think that's spot on. You're chuckling. <laughs> Everybody's yeah, chuckling. Perry White, of course, Janet. Janet came up with it, Perry White. No, that's <laughs> Superman, Janet. Janet, I'm going to call it. I'm going to call it right now. I'm going to call you out right now. I'm talking Superman. Oh, I thought you said Spider-Man. No, the Daily Planet. Well, the Daily Planet, is that Spider-Man or is that Superman? No, that's Superman. So you're right, Perry White. What's the pap- What's the newspaper for the uh, Spider-Man? For the Daily Bugle. The Daily uh, Jonah, Planet, the, Jonah Jameson. The Daily Bugle. Jonah that, Jameson. That's it. Okay. Jonah Jameson's for the Spider-Man. And who's the who's the Superman one? Perry White. Perry White. That's just it. All right. There's a story out there. All right? I like it. Layers being bought and sold. I need you to find out where. I need you to get some. <laughs> As he's smoking his cigar. Cigar. Right. You know what? That's good. Uh, Janet was so kind as to list the buckets. Scott Todd's buckets. Numbers one, two, three, and four. Right? Let's hear it. Number one are the people who want to buy now. Buy now. Or live on now. Okay. Number two, live on later. Yeah. Number three, adventure, fun, entertainment. Yeah. Number four, the investor. Nice. So there you have it. It's true. The investor is an interesting individual because I know investors that will buy land that may not even have access, may not even have a ton of use, but they're looking at the future growth and, and the future development of the area, and they're just holding on. Uh, it's just one way they like to invest. So that's why all land does sell. The investors are out there. Yeah, and you look at what's happened to land in the last five, six years. There's been a significant appreciation in land values, right? What's that? What? What? You're smirking, so I'm smirking. No, you're smirking first. No, you smirked first. No, I didn't smirk first. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, we love Nike. Yeah. Come on, blow up the hotline, folks. Well, let's talk about the question that we had during today's <clears throat> working lunch, uh, lunch and learn, as one of our friends like to say, the lunch is a verb. Mistakes we made in the beginning, Scott, that uh, you, you would have done differently. Mistakes I made in the beginning. Well, I was talking about today how I was making money in an area, had done a few deals there, and uh, I think – it was the type of property or uh, maybe just the use of the property because you couldn't camp on them. You could only live on them. They were kind of long-term investments. It was for people who either want to live on it now or live on it later or a long-term investment. And I don't know. Um, I maybe. I, I sold them, but I wasn't maybe passionate about them. But if I had to go back, I'd maybe – take the emotion out of the motion. And oh, just dude, I think about that all the time. That's such a great saying you came up with. Stay in the area, right? Because I've already done deals there. So if I've already done three deals there in a month, why would I leave and go somewhere else? Yeah. Yeah, we had someone talking to us one time that was like, you know, I, I want to change my area. We're like, why? Well, I don't really like the land there. Okay, didn't you sell like 20 of them in the last 
few months, yes, but I just don't like the land there. That's okay. You don't have to like it or love it. You're providing it for people who do. Uh, so, you know, we're not always passionate about it, but the people who use it are. It's the strawberry uh, bagel. Donut. Strawberry, strawberry donut. bagel. Yeah. If you want a donut shop, Scott, and you don't like strawberry donuts or strawberry bagels or strawberry anything, are you going to not sell them because you – as the owner, don't like them. Of course not. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pander to my base. That's it. You're gonna give them what they want. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that was great. I, I said today one of the things in the beginning that uh, I would have done differently is uh, I, I, is my lack of consistency. I would, you know, I would, I would start doing something. I would question it. I would slow it down, and that just gave that sort of bumpy start. Uh, everything about we do, what we do, is is about consistency. Don't think, oh, I'm gonna mail, I want to go crazy, mail a thousand offers, mail a hundred a week, every week, every week, every week, the thousand, and then taking three or four weeks off, which becomes a couple of months or whatever. You know, market, put a couple ads out a week. Don't say I'm gonna have to put out ten, and then one week do ten, next week do none, do two a week. Develop a baseline consistency. I would have done that sooner. I like it. I like it. Yeah. Um, Let me take well, a look at the. I, uh, I committed. Uh, I committed a sin that so many of us commit, and that is uh -oh. I stopped. I stopped mailing. You do a segment on the nightcap land sins. Land sinner. Land sinner. The, the land sinner. <laughs> oh, we could uh, talk about the Voxer etiquette tonight too. That'd be fun. Um. There's anyway, this one guy I know land who. Sinner. There's this one guy I know who when. Uh, when it's bar time in any particular city he happens to be in, he, he rolls his window down and he starts yelling out the window, repent sinner. Uh, and gets a lot of, <laughs> gets a lot of colorful comments. It's uh, it's fun. Sinner. I love it. So what would you say today's first episode of the land sinner? And this is like, which is like a show within the show on today's episode of land sinner, Scott Bossman divulges what really <laughs> happened. So what's your what's your land center confession? You said land center. Uh yeah, I quit mailing. Sinner. Sinner. <laughs> repent oh, sinner. God. I love this. I never thought repent sinner would come on to nightcap and, and here we are. Stop mailing. Remember what was uh some of the songs we had uh when we did the nightcap musical, wasn't it? Um uh oh my god, I'll be there for you. These yeah. five words, I swear to you, when you mail, I'll be the... I don't I'll remember, be the, but... Whatever. I'll be there for you. Yeah, we did uh, We did Bohemian Rhapsody. Yeah, oh, we had to... We got to... Anybody out there interested in a in a in a, re, in a uh, revisit to the Nightcap musical? We haven't done one in three years. Mike, uh, I got... Long. You know, I have the lyrics right here of, of all of the Nightcap musical songs. You do pull one up. Yeah. All right. I'll pull one up. Let's answer a question. And while we're answering a question, I'll pull one up. Ready? And I'm going to look at the hotline. Okay, folks. All you right. want to hear Night Captain Musical? Let us know. Uh, here's a comment from John. There are expensive counties and cheap counties. Uh, argument for doing two eventually as well as wholesaling. So picking a couple counties and then wholesaling, yeah, I think it's a solid strategy. Well, and, and there's different price points. Yeah, that's fine. I, I, I just think you wouldn't want to be doing like six, seven, eight. You want to do a couple. Stick, you know, keep keep it under three in the beginning. Two is great. You know, you you can definitely do that. And I, 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 I I'm very transparent. I pick areas, uh, some areas that I only do wholesale, just because. You know, I just don't put the effort into the to the full end marketing on those areas. I buy the properties and serve them up and let other people sell them. It's just uh, and then I have retail areas as well. I I tend not to mix them. Right. No mixing. How do that two were two roads divide? Does it at the end of that say and never sell the two meat? Does it say that? Is that the end of that? I kind of feel like it is in that poem. What now? You know the two roads. Diverge and I took the one last travel by. Yeah, by Robert the Frost. Do they, do they, at the end of it, talk about the never two shall meet? Isn't that part of it? I wonder. Any, Maybe. any out there? Yeah. 
So that's like keeping your wholesale and retail separate. That's what I'm saying. Dang, you. That was that's a profound, very profound comparison. <laughs> Not gonna yeah. lie. Not gonna lie. Not, Not gonna, gonna lie. lie. Uh, let's see here. John found out the weakness of his was what I was planning to do. Now modifying his long term plans because of it. Okay. So sometimes we can change mid cycle based right. on feedback from ourselves, our business, our life, and we can make adjustments. I like that. Right. I'm down with that. Um, John, John is saying repent sinner in the chat. I got to screenshot that. I got to show my wife that because she's going to die. And on that note, John, I'm pouring more whiskey. <laughs> repent sinner. Uh, question. When filling out a new deed for a buyer, yeah. can the mail to when recorded address be a PO box? Uh, yes. I don't think it's an issue. I don't think it's an issue. Yep. Uh, I found our Christmas musical. So. Oh, you have it recorded? No, I have all the words though. Oh yeah, is that what Matt was? What did he do? The fifth, the uh... the twelve days of Christmas. <laughs> he did. Yeah, that was a that was a long song. Oh my god, that was <laughs> awesome. Well, uh, we miss you. Uh, Raven Jennings, Raven, nice to see you. I don't know if I've seen you on here before. Uh, I have access to my county's land records. Any suggestions on how I can reverse engineer the data to find more deals? Well, you're going to want to parse that data, sort that data, so you go into specific areas, you know, very specific geographical areas. So the first thing with any list is to make sure that it's broken down into segments where, you know, you have isolated specific areas. Once you do that, then you can quickly and easily price it. You could do that by the APM, by the legal description, uh, whatever way you choose, but that's number one. Okay, like it. Like it. Love like it. Like it. Look at, look at, like it. Look at, yeah, we got to stop saying that. Stop, uh, do you do that, Scott? Is it just me? Is that like a, is it a New England thing or is it someone over 40 thing? It's like, look at, look at. No, it's a New England thing. It's a Mike Zano thing for sure. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Looky here. Looky look at, look at. Uh, my, what do I call this thing? My Scott, we got to get some of these. Can we get more of these to hand? We told people we're going to start giving away things. Okay, listen, my wife is on the t-shirts. They've, they're being ordered. Where'd we get these? This is swag box. Yeah, those are from Rossi. Those are flight school. Talk... Those are flight school swag items. Oh, they all get them. Yeah. Well, hold you up if you have one, folks. Yeah, Kirk Perk. Look when at he that was on... established. My, this is so old that the established date is worn off. That's because you've washed it many times. 2018, boss man. That's four years. Four Wait a minute. Years. Is our anniversary coming up next month? Or two months? Uh, April. Yeah. Number four. Going on five. Uh, Mike, I found the Nightcap the Musical songs. All so, right, what are they? Let's hear them. So here are the songs. Come on, Aileen. Remember that one? Yes. Uh, you got to know when to hold them. Yes. I still haven't found what I'm looking for. Ooh, I think you did that one. Living on a Prayer. Yes. Sweet Danielle. That was for Danielle. Uh, oh yeah, that was a good one. Eye of the Tiger, nice. And uh, and Bohemian Rhapsody. Ooh, that's a tough one. Whoo man! How are we gonna top that? Um, well, if any of you out there are interested, perhaps, just perhaps, we could uh, bring some of those back. Oh, by the way, I believe next week we're going to have a special guest. I believe. At least one of the coaches is is, is excited about the sweat Cito. Well, yeah, uh, Taria's excited. Yes, is yes. She com- is she coming on next week? I believe so. She sees the power in the sweat Cito. Three appearances and they get a sweat Cito. Three. Is this except, three in twenty twenty two? So this is number one for her. Except for the Godfather. Except for the Godfather, he just gets one. Yeah, we got to give him one. Yeah, we got to give him one. For sure. All right. Any um, questions? Why is the hotline so quiet, folks? You know I love your comments. Bring it on. It's a quiet night tonight. It's a quiet night. 
Quiet um, Riot. Did you like that? Did you like that band? Quiet Riot. Is that Come On Feel the Noise? Uh, yes. What year would that be? Oh, come on, Scott. Uh, nineteen eighty. Nineteen eighty yeah. nineteen eighty four. Three. Yes. Damn it. I almost said three. <laughs> I almost said Can three. I feel the noise. I was envisioning I think I lost my hearing for my cousin, because my cousin Mike Bossman, he, he he was about six, seven years older than me. He'd get me in the car and we'd drive around town and he would like Blast these sounds on the radio. Uh, what and kind I of car did he have? Think, what's that? You remember? You remember what kind of car he had? Um, he had like a Cutlass. Nice. Yeah. We call it the Gutless Cutlass. Yeah. That's nice. Oh yeah. Anyway, so I, that was I, back in the day of MTV when it was like crazy cool. When there's videos. Yeah. Uh, John wants to know what dates were those so he can look up the musical. So John, I don't know if the musical is online anymore. I looked for it. We may have pulled it. But it was uh <laughs> it was May it was in May of twenty eighteen. How do you do that? I'm well I have it in front of me. <laughs> but Don't I also know up. Don't divulge your secrets. I also know it was right around my son had a surgery around that time and I know it was right around the surgery. So right, right. um John, I'm more comfortable finding that people are only wholesaling in certain counties. I feel that I am getting fresh properties, not problem ones. Well, that's cool. Yeah, I know what he means. He so the conception is a perhaps misconception is that people will wholesale properties that they're having a hard time selling. So what he's saying is if you have separate areas like I'm talking about, it's not that I'm having a property I can't sell that I decide to wholesale. It's a property I've just decided isn't in my wholesale area. So I get that point, John. I think it's a it's a valid point for sure. Nice. I like it. Uh, Facebook, Uh-oh. what? I got, sto- I, got, I got some more information here. On the hotline? Yeah, from Dan, Heidi and Dan. Fun story. Had a grumpy yeah. seller call and told us when he bought the lot in 1960s, he was out sitting in the desert eating salsa and chips. Oh, I love salsa and chips. Man, I really, that, that just gave me the munchies. I especially love salsa and chips. Yes, There's I no do. such thing as salsa. That's what you just said, though. It's salsa. Salsa. All right. It's like, salsa. dude, you put R's in words where R's don't belong, and you leave R's out of words where R's there should be. Zeke said it best. It's a speech impediment. All but, right? <laughs> come on. Serious. So he's eating salsa and chips and decided to offer some up to, off some, up to some burrows. The burrows ended up chasing him and attacking him and destroyed his car. He said he was out there with a bottle of booze. <laughs> Sounds like a good time. Where was that? Sound. What state was that in? Because that reminds me, when I went out, one time we were in uh, Arizona, and we went over to uh, Sedona and went for a walk in the woods, and that was my last time I'll ever walk in the woods in Arizona because everything bites you, including the plants. You can't touch anything. <laughs> Forget it. Uh, hey, Mike. John Jeeke would like to remind you. Arizona, yeah. It's John Jeeke. It. It's John Jeeke. Jeeke. Um, I, I just wanted to, uh, to get you uh, uh, involved, Jeeke. Kirk Pert. Kirk Pert is here. Kirk was What's on up, a, Kirk? Kirk was on probably about a month ago on Nightcap. Yeah. Uh, I would recommend if you guys want an inspiring story about how far you can come in one year in this business, go yeah. back and watch that episode because Kirk is on fire. He's killing it. He's joining us in coaching. It's really exciting. But what he says, Mike, is that he's hanging out in his sweatsito tonight. Ah, uh, yes. And we have another comment from my buddy Jeff Jones from Minnesota saying, uh, wait, I thought I read. No, sorry, Jones. I thought I read something different. But Jones was talking about the IPAs. Uh, the Never Facebook let user. the truth get in the way of a good story. Gold you got. No, I just misread it. I thought that he said he was in his sweatsito too, but it was just me getting excited seeing Kurt's comment about sweatsito, thinking that everyone was saying they're in a sweatsito when really it's just a few of Everybody us. should be in a sweatsito. 
Yeah, I, I'm. In fact, it's cold in here, so I'm gonna. Go. It actually brings calm to you to wear a sweatsito. I'm gonna. I'm gonna come over here and put on my velour, my velour sweatsito. You know, I'm gonna be getting. We're ordering new ones this week. Tomorrow, we're looking them up. How do you wash your velour, by the way? Dry. Clean I don't dry it? it. I wash it gently and don't dry it. Okay, all right. Because I gotta wash. Dry it. yours? Uh, no. Yeah, you don't want to do that. It'll shrink. Here, let me get mine up like you. There. There we go. <laughs> Tomorrow, boss, but we need new right. sweatsitos. We got the we got the Gelbers here. Uh Gelbers, the nice Gelbers. to see you. What's up? They're killing it in coaching. I can't wait to see them. I'm 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 fairly confident we'll be seeing them in San Antonio. Because anybody who doesn't know, we're live in San Antonio in August. So when then we'll be in uh Tommy Tommy Atlanta. Atlanta in the fall. So come see us in person. We'd love to see you. Have a drink with us. You know, uh, it'll be phenomenal. We have two social networking hours, one on Friday, one on Saturday, and uh, we'd love to see you all. So if you haven't been to a live boot camp, you've got to do it. And I hope to see the Gelbas there, at least one, and hopefully both. Oh, they'll both be there together for sure. I meant both events. Hopefully one. Hope, oh, not, not. Both events, not both Gelbers. Yeah. Both Gelbers at both events would be great. Yes. Yes, it would. Yeah. Both and both. Oh. Uh, Mark Renders here. He says that we are on fire tonight. We're on fire. Yeah. Fire. Fire. Uh, I any, don't think... qu any questions out there about... Uh, yeah, like I think, Janet, I don't think that the live boot camps will be videotaped or virtual. We haven't done that. I guess it's an option, but they're more... It's not as... It's not set up like the Zoom ones are on the virtual. Speaking of which, the virtual one is happening quite in a, in a very short period of time. Go to thelandgeek.com. Uh, it's a forward slash boot camp. Sign up now. If you have toolkit, the toolkit, or if you have flight school, you have un a coaching, of course, unlimited access to all the virtual events. So don't miss them. There's always a some sort of a pearl of wisdom that's going to change your game. Yeah, for sure. And things change quickly in this business, too. So. You know, you're going to pick up all sorts of things at boot camp April 2022 that you didn't pick up at boot camp January 2022. It's just how it is. So that's got me. You never, you didn't get this one in the past. So I'm going to throw it at you again. What you just said. When it's time to change, you've got to rearrange Re who you are and what you're going to be. -na 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 -na. That's you, the key. Na -na. Yeah, you've who sung this song before on here, and I can never. This is an obscure one that I never get right. Does anybody else TV know what that show is from? From some TV show that you watched when you were a kid. But you are older than me, uh, so that's my excuse. Does anybody else know before I reveal what, what show that's from? Come on, there have to be some hardcore fans out there. <laughs> when it's time to change, you've got to rearrange who you are and what you're going to be. And this is the key right here. -na 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 it's the Brady Bunch, dude. Someone said it? Yeah, John Jeeke said it, the Brady Bunch. It is. It's the uh, Meet the Brady Bunch, 1972. Ba-boom. Great nice. song. You didn't watch the Brady Bunch, boss man? I did. I did watch the Brady Bunch. How else would you not? To, how else would you know not to put too much to, uh, soap uh, in the uh, washing machine? Because yeah, nobody... I watched a lot of Leave It to Beaver. Flipper, <laughs> you a flipper guy? I watched a little flipper. I watched a little Mr. Ed. I watched uh, my. <laughs> I watched a little Days of Our Lives growing up. Who didn't? <laughs> Who wasn't eating mac and cheese listening to with their mother or, or wherever with them and eating in here? Those were the days of our lives. Oh and you're gosh, eating your mac and grandma. cheese under your little fort in your living room. Who didn't do that? My grandma loved that show. And they're um, still playing that show. I'll never, ever, ever forget watching the episode where Roman Brady falls off the cliff with my grandma. It was like, uh. Was she out of her mind? <laughs> she was out of her mind. <laughs> Those oh are the best. God. Anyway. Um, we digress. We digress. Uh, I feel like I got, a, you know, I got these songs staring me in the face, and maybe I should sing one of them. Yeah, let's hear it. What do you think? I want to hear one. 
Should we get a vote from the audience? Yeah. Yeah. So you want to give them a choice of which one you'll sing? Sing or no sing? Sing or no sing, folks. Should you would you like to hear Bossman bring back one of our nightcap musical songs? Sing or no sing? And the first <laughs> prior to that, Cynthia had a question. And you know what, Cynthia? I've been wondering this question for the last four years. And finally someone's asked it. Where does Scott read comments from during the nightcap? I don't know. I always see him looking down. I have no <laughs> clue. Scott, tell us. It's What's your secret? I am in control of the nightcap. Oh, we, man. We have these, uh, or I, I guess on my side, uh, Cindy, I have this. We have the software that we got to run to run these live shows. He means he, not me. And and uh, when the comments uh, come up, I'm able to see the comments in real time from Facebook and YouTube. Um, the only problem is on Facebook, I can't tell who it is because it just says Facebook user. Um, so, so yeah, it's pretty fun stuff. I can throw the comments on the screen. Let me see if I can do that. Pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. Haven't done that in a while, actually. Uh, Did you like that see. Super Bowl commercial? Cruiser With Dan. Man? See, I just threw his comment on the screen. Pretty fun stuff. I don't even see it. I know you don't. Scott, did you like that commercial in the Super Bowl with Larry, David, and, you know, Don't Be Like Larry? Did you see that one when he was like... You know what? I I didn't... Uh, I missed that one. It was pretty good. Yeah, I gotta pretty, go back to one. pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. No one's saying anything. I guess they don't want you to sing. No, okay, uh, like Dan says, let's hear it, Scott. No turning back now. Raven says, sing. Uh, David right. says David says he's going to need more scotch. Janet says do it. Well, then you better pour it now because it's about to get real, folks. Which song are you going to choose, Scott? All right, well, Your I'm going to do the I'm going to do the easy one. You got to know when to hold them. All right, let's hear it. And this is uh, um, now all of these we we put a little land spin to, right? Yes, yes. So um, this is just a little short version. That's pretty good rhythm. You got to know when to hold them. Know how to get the list. Know how to scrub it. Know how to mail. You never spend your money. When the chain is clouded, there'll be time enough for spending. When the day is done. That's it. I thought you'd have more than that. (laughs) Fantastic. See, there, there are actually lessons coded in songs, folks. There are lessons coded in songs. Yeah. Oh, man. I love it. Oh, man. I think I we could make the musical a up. lot better this time around. Yeah, we have a lot more experience. Uh, um, we could definitely do it. Let's we do it. We could definitely make it better. That so, should be our four-year anniversary. We're going to have musicals. We're going to have guests. We're going we're gonna to roast people. It's going to be great. <laughs> oh, I love it. I would love a roasting. <laughs> yeah. We're going to get you, Scott uh, Todd to come on and drink his, star, his uh, pina coladas. Uh, he loves the pina coladas. We could do uh, Between Two Ferns on Nightcap. That'd be oh, fun. God. That'd be hysterical. <laughs> Mark loves that show. Mark will be the perfect one to do that. We'll bring him on for some Between Two Ferns. He'd be amazing for Between Two Ferns. Um, well, that was a great way to wrap it up. And we got three minutes left. You ended with a song. Uh, it doesn't get better than that, folks. My schooner's empty, or whatever you want to call this thing. Seven beers down. No, just three. Seven. Three in an hour. Six. My boys were making fun of me. They're like, "Don't come to my room after nightcap and <laughs> blow your your whiskey breath all over me." Okay, I know. it's so. great. <laughs> uh, but. Mike, what night next week are we doing Nightcap? Wednesday, Thursday? Thursday evening, folks. Thursday evening next week. Thursday. So we're and looking next at- week, I believe, I believe we'll have a special guest as we, uh, the aforementioned Taria. Thursday the 24th. You can believe it's already almost March. I can't. Yeah, it's crazy. Time is just flying by. <laughs> An insane way. Um, all right, Thursday the twenty fourth. Bring your friends. 
Tell your tell your relatives. Yeah, spread the word. But really, that 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 brings me to my final point for the nightcap tonight. Let's hear it. Uh, you guys need all of you people watching this need to tell people in your lives about this business because oh. there really are so few people doing it even now and it is a vehicle to financial security time freedom location freedom it really is and that's yeah, true uh don't be like me six years ago when i got into this oh i love this story tell them what would you where do where I wouldn't wear my land geek t-shirt anywhere because I was all worried about people buying my land. <laughs> right. There's so much land out there that can create freedom for so many people. So tell yeah. your friends about the nightcap, tell them to come sit back with a drink. Yeah. And ask us some questions about this business. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it, it really is. I can't count. I can't count how many times in the last six years this business has moved the needle in my life. I really can't. Like it's, and it's only six years in. It's insane. Yeah. Great point. Great point. So, it's a great opportunity. Um, we all have the abundance mentality. There's more land than we could ever buy. Uh, so it's just a wide open market. It's massive. And uh, <clears throat> if any of you watching have any questions, please text the hotline. You can email Scott at 24 the 7 the hotline. 24 7. Scott at thelandgeek.com. Mike at thelandgeek.com. Love those emails. We'd be happy to talk. We'd be happy to talk to you yes. about how this business uh, can change your life. It really can in a short period of time. Uh, so thanks everyone for coming. It was a we fun gotta, time. We got to build up to this anniversary though. We're going to have to have a, I think we might have to do like an hour long or two hour long show for the anniversary. Special guest after special guest, trivia, maybe some land jeopardy, swag giveaway. It's got to be an event. Got to be a song or two. Uh, the swag is coming. My wife has been working on it. Oh, well, thank so, you, Aaron. You know, when we post in the Facebook group that there's a free T-shirt to be given away on Nightcap, our viewership is going to skyrocket. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for being here. Thank it's you, a, Land Geek Nation. Fun. Thank you, Land Geek Nation. Thank you, Land Geek. Hive Nation. mind. I don't say the hive mind. <laughs> it reminds me of the arrow. <laughs> Uh, we love you all and uh, please let us know how we can help in your journey uh, yes. to freedom with land investing financial freedom, time freedom freedom in general thanks everybody, right. have a good night I'll talk to you soon, I'll bring another song next week, it'll be better Better. it'll be better oh, that one was great, trust me it's kind of short, but it was alright show up and sweet alright, night everybody good night, bye bye Bye-bye.